Okay, hey Drew, how's it going? This is a real quick video on how to use ScreenFlow. Now, I have a Mac, I'm assuming you have a Mac as well. Um, so if you don't, it'll probably be pretty similar, but maybe slightly different. So um, if you don't, just let me know, but I think it'll work for Mac as well. So first, what you're gonna do after you download ScreenFlow, so it should already be on your Mac, um, but if it's not, you can just Google, you know, download ScreenFlow and it'll come up and you can download it. Um, but this is how you would find it. You would go to your little finder on the bottom there under your toolbar, and then you would click on um, Applications. So once you click on Finder at the bottom of your Mac, app, this is what's going to come up. Click on Applications, okay, and then scroll down until you see ScreenFlow. And then double click on ScreenFlow, okay. And that'll bring this up right here. So if it's not already a default option on your toolbar down here, because um, you can see it down here at the bottom, you see it up here, this little video recorder uh, icon, and this is what it's gonna bring up right here. Um, if it's not already a default option, that's what you would need to do, is go to your finder, go to applications, and click ScreenFlow. It may already be up here, I don't know, but um, that would make it so that you for sure know that you have it. So once that comes up, you can either press this little record button right here, um, or you can go up to the top of your screen and click this little camera button. Um, and you can click on that and it'll give you all the options to record, stop record, and you should just click that and click record. So um, once you click that record button, this is what's gonna show up on your screen. So it gives you a few seconds uh, to prepare whatever you wanna show on your screen for the first shot. Um, and then it's just gonna start recording. So it's recording your screen, it's recording your voice and everything. Um, once you want to stop recording, all you do is you go to this little icon at the top, and it might show this since I'm actually recording this with ScreenFlow. It might show this as I'm recording, so I don't know at the end of this video. But um, you just go to this little icon at the top, this video icon, and click Stop Record. And then this is what's going to pop up. Okay, this is the ScreenFlow back office, so to speak, and there's your video. So you can play it right here to make sure that the sound and audio is how you like it. You can play back your video. Um, I don't know how to do much of editing at all, but don't worry about that. This is your first videos on ScreenFlow, so just record your screen and you'll be good. So once you um, think, okay, yeah, this is a good video, then go up to File, okay, at the top, and click Export. Okay, and what that's going to do is it's going to save it to your computer. And then once you click export, it's going to give you these settings. The only thing that I change is usually this default right here is set to 50. I change this to 75, okay, and then I click export. And then it's going to ask me to save it as whatever I want to save it as. I usually save it on my desktop so I can find it. So, for example, this video can be called ScreenFlow for Drew, okay, so then I click save. And once I click save, oh, let me get back. Once I click save, it's going to show this, ex it's going to darken the screen and show that it's, ex it's exporting. And uh, once this is complete, so once it says, it'll tell you how much time usually it'll take to export onto your computer. Once that's complete, it'll actually be on your desktop and ready for you to do whatever you want with it. Upload it to YouTube, upload it to Facebook, um, what, whatever you wanna do, Wistia, whatever software you're using, okay? Um, and then it's saved to your computer. So pretty darn easy. Uh, and I'll show you here, there's the little screen flow icon right there. Here's the stop record at the top, right? Um, and then once I stop recording this video, I'm going to export it right to my desktop and send it to you. So hopefully that helps. It's very, very simple to use. You can go around to any, any place you want on your computer and it'll record your entire screen. I love it. So hope that helps. I'll talk to you soon, Drew. Have a great day.